So, uh, next topic we have, um, this one's about Nintendo Switch. Uh, I guess recently there was, like, um, a couple of developers that had claimed that they got, um, dev kits yep. for the 4K Nintendo Switch model. Um, now this is all coming after, uh, the Nintendo OLED has, uh, started their rollout, um, of passing all their little free yep. models out and stuff to, to, uh, the YouTubers and other media and stuff like that to showcase the, the console, um, right before its release date. Uh, but yeah, like it was all this stuff popping up saying, oh, there is this 4K model and they just have decided not to, to, to put it out or something like that. Yeah. And, uh, immediately, um, Nintendo, uh, came back and said, no, there's no such thing as a 4K model. Like, you know, they're, they're wrong or whatever. Um, there's been like one other, I think Zynga, um, denied that there was a 4K model. Yeah. I don't know. I'm not sure why there was even an option for, um, like a 4K model and they come out with the OLED. But I think I think if it, even if it was a developer's kit, right, and it was capable of doing 4K, I think you have to chalk that up to a developer's kit. Yeah. Because when we looked at the PS5 developer kits, they were like crazy. Like they had crazy fucking like 16 RAM, yeah. gig RAM. Like they had crazy stats on them, um, crazy specs on them, or whatever. Uh, as as compared to the actual console that releases to everybody, and I think that's just so like. Everybody can push the envelope with as yeah. as best quality stuff as they possibly can for the console. But, I mean, yeah. what do you think? Yeah, I feel like this is just Nintendo kind of doing some damage control, trying to keep it on the wraps, in my opinion. In my <laughs> opinion. So, <laughs> because because they, have, they have one. They have to be working on their next-gen Nintendo. Because, dude, although I love the Switch, dude, this thing is primitive. You know what I mean? It's only good for first-party games. Mm-hmm. They, I feel like they need something with more juice so all these third-party games are playable, in my opinion. Yeah, I mean, that they cloud thing you were saying was, was going to yeah. help a yeah, little yeah. bit, but they, they obviously need more than that. Yeah, and I, but I feel like it's in the works, man. I feel like they just, you know, they're under NDAs and all these things. They have to deny it. Yeah. But, man, I know they're out there. They have to be out there. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Like, they're working on 4K. When everyone else is working on 8K or whatever. You know what I'm saying? Right. So, I know they're working on it. It's just, when are we going to get it, in my opinion? But the OLED is cool. It's just their way of making extra quick money. Yeah. You know what I mean? Um, it does I mean, look really good, though. Have you seen videos of the OLED? Um, I have. I just saw, like, it turned on or whatever. And the nice. screen looks bigger than the uh, the uh, original or whatever. But yeah, I'm, yeah, yeah. I don't know about this the specs exactly on the size but mm -hmm. it's super clear but at the same time you know a nice gaming monitor or a laptop is still superior in every way <laughs> yeah you just dock it and you can get all the clarity you want exactly just do just yeah. dock the one you have maybe spend a little bucks on a nice little monitor mm -hmm. and i think that they're selling the docks also aren't they yeah because the, the docks port. by themselves have the uh the land port yeah. so but they're over 100 bucks so are they before they were hundred, because I always wanted a second dock, but I was like, uh, I'm not gonna pay you a hundred when I can find a beat up switch for two hundred. Yeah, and then I'll just switch the Joy Cons, and now it now it looks fine again. You know what I mean? Right. But uh, yeah, dude, this is sad, but I know it's coming deep down. You know what I mean? Yeah, I think they did some improvements to the dock as well, because it kind of looks a little different yeah. on the side, so it looks like there might be might not be so much wiggle room. Yeah. On the inside of the dock, I know I've, I've always had that when I put it in there. Yeah. But, but yeah, so I mean, hey, if there is a 4K model, cool. Um, if we ever get to see it, then cool. Yeah. I I would hope that this 4K model has way more upgrades than just, you know looking you looking yeah. a little bit different you know i just want 4k that docked, model was disappointment i just want i just want 4k docked obviously the screen is so small 4k is like you're not gonna kinda really see it negligible yeah but even if it's 1080p and then 4k docked i can live with that yeah yeah so. definitely i would i would definitely take like a 4k dock to oh, to, yeah. to put my thing into but they also got to have games that would be like worthwhile 
seeing like that yeah. you know like what what games would actually utilize the 4k you know what i mean yeah. probably be like a forced upscale or something yeah that's but, true that's a good point actually that's yeah. a good point because the third party games would still probably run at 1080 yeah and then run good like whatever but their first party games would probably run okay at 4k you know what i mean maybe so yeah. but i mean even even the majority of their first party games like they don't yeah they're not really like power exerting you know what yeah, I mean? that's like true, it's nothing crazy you know so. this is true 